Hey there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Karen. I make bookish college and lifestyle-ish videos and today is part two in my back to school series and that is a updated what is in my pencil pouch video. And so I did one of these videos about two years ago and that was when I was a senior in high school and I, I don't remember what I was holding in those pencil pouches but I have two new, I have one new one. I can't read the print on there but I got both of these from Amazon. They're very messy and out of order. Yeah, I wanted to go through them, reorganize them, and show you what I like, what I don't like. Actually, I like everything that's in here, so. Anyway, I hope you will enjoy this video and let's just get right on into it. Okay, so this is definitely a brand new angle for the both of us, but like I said, I bought both of these um, pencil pouches from Amazon. I don't remember how much they cost um, because I bought them a little while ago but I will definitely put the link in the description bar down below. So first I think I'm going to go through and clean out this blue pencil pouch first because um, it's my main one that I use. This is what I take to class. This is what I carry around. And I love that it has a handle on it because like if I need to take it out of my bag and just take it to an exam, I can do that as well. So it has this front pocket where you can put some pens here and any little materials you may need there. And I'm just going to dump everything out real quick and reorganize it. One thing that I am worried about when it comes to highlighters is how much they bleed through. Um, the Stavilla Boss highlighters, they do bleed through like your regular white lined paper. Let's just go ahead and put these at the bottom of the pencil pouch. The reason why I have this is because my biology professor would always, for, not always, but she would forget um, to bring dry erase markers to class sometimes for lectures. And one of my classmates, she kind of got frustrated with that and bought like a pack of her own um, dry erase markers. And so, so she would have extra to have in class to give to the professor in case the professor needed it. And then she gave me one just in case um, she wasn't there in class one day because she had all the markers. So I just have this. I genuinely enjoy these very cheap, basic big round stick pens. Also, I use these Pentel RSVP pens and then I'll just plop the rest of the pens in here. This section right here is a little short so I can't fit um, like pens all the way through because it is a little bit longer. I prefer using what, I don't remember what brand these are from, but these are just mechanical pencils and this is a 0.5 household lecture notes in pen most of the time unless i'm in a math class but i am no longer in a math class so i don't need to candy dandy white out and i've actually had this white out for a while i also like to keep some chapstick or lip balm in my pencil pouch because it is such easy access and it's always there and i always have my pencil pouch on me with, as long as i have a backpack i have this muji eraser i can't find I, I can't find my regular white eraser. I have no idea where it went. So until I find that, this is in there. Also, I have this just regular um, double-sided marker. I got this as a gift from the Career Development Office. And I don't, I don't use flash drives. I keep everything on my laptop or on Google Drive. Oops. Can't see it on the side over here, but I do have a bin of school supplies that I keep with me and I'm just going to be reloading this pencil pouch with a few things. First I will be keeping the rest of this post-it note stack in here. These are great for textbooks and anything like that. Next I have a binder clip. You never know when you're gonna need one and trust me there have been times where I wish I had a binder clip. I have this fine point sharpie. Let's test this out. And I have a pair of scissors. Um, also, you just never know when you're gonna need that. It sits perfectly like right on top of my stuff in my backpack. Now, moving on to this black one that I have here. This one is a little bit more of a mess and I have a lot more items in here as well. So, I think, uh, I don't know how I wanna do this. Okay, so now I have everything separated into um, different piles. These right here are the, I think the Zebra Mild Liners. And on one side it is chiseled and on the other it's like a little marker type tip. These also bleed through quite a bit, but not as much as the Stabilo Boss ones. So I never really use this brown one. And so let's just see how it looks 
that one's very pigmented because I never really use it. So I do enjoy using these even though as you can see that they do bleed through but I like using the lighter colors because they don't bleed through as much and these are normally what you would imagine as highlighter colors. So anyway these are going to go in this pouch right here. Okay so these fit perfectly back here. Here we have the Muji, I think these are the gel pens. I think I used to have like a regular blue color <laughs> but it did explode. You can see that um, some of the blue is coming off of these markers because it exploded in the container that it was in and it got all over my other pens and stuff. See does it smudge? It doesn't really smudge. These, these don't bleed. I wouldn't use these for notes because I, I am too worried about it dragging and getting all over my hand, but these are great. Next, I have these, let's see, these Muji 0. Point, I think these are 0. 0.7, not 0. 0.5 pens. I don't think they're gel pens, but let's test these ones out as well. That one's a little draggy because I use this one so often. I think these ones are great. I don't like taking notes with these pens because like, as you saw here, they, they kind of drag and fade out a little bit. That also happens when they're full of ink and I'm not sure why that is. All right, so I don't know how I am going to fit all of these in there, but I will make it work. These are the Tri Plus Fine Liners, and these are wonderful. You can keep the cap off of them for a really long time and they will not dry out. Um, I lost my black one and so I don't have that. I think I'm gonna go to like Michael's or something and get a new black one because I really do like these. And you know those like very fancy study blur notes like pictures of notes this is a lot of the times what they are using but they do bleed through the paper a lot worse than the muji pens that i showed you but like i said earlier i really do enjoy using these i've had these for years actually and these still haven't dried out i just happened to lose my black one i don't know where that one went all right and so finally i have the stabilo point 88 pens. These are very fine point, 0 0.4. I would use these to decorate my notes or to bullet journal with, but I wouldn't use these to take notes in class, mainly because when I'm in class, I'm writing really fast. I'm taking these fast lecture notes and I just, I have the tendency to like press really hard on my paper every now and then, and I don't want to take that chance with these pens. And I think I lost my black one, which is really upsetting. I have a habit of losing my black pens out of these sets, which is really upsetting. So I don't think the camera's gonna pick it up, but when I look closely, the Statler one is a little bit more uh, vibrant. It, it's not as faded as this blue down here doesn't drag. I think they both equally bleed through the paper. And I'm noticing that the Stabilo 80.88 pen leaves behind a texture on the back of the paper, which I don't really like. I like that these come in so many different colors. They're aesthetically pleasing. These, however, I love that they last so long and they, they do fit really well into whatever pencil pouch you put them in. I genuinely enjoyed filming this video because I love watching pen comparison videos, what's in my pencil pouch videos, and so I wanted to film an updated one and show you what I think of these pens and when I use them and such. That's it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe. I have a new back to school video coming up next week and there was a little change in the calendar but it's to help me out with my editing and everything that i had to get together for the video i hope you all have a great rest of the day bye everyone